Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome back to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. Let's start off in Indiana where Jesse Love had three nights of Power Eye Racing scheduled, but all three nights were rained out. Up next for Jesse, Arkham Menards West Series at Evergreen Raceway on August the 7th. Katie Hedinger was also scheduled to compete in the CRA Junior Late Model Series at Killcare Raceway in Exeno, Ohio, but that race was canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. A little birdie told me that racing fumes might or could cure COVID. Maybe. Let's head to Pensacola, Florida, where we find Caden Honeycutt, who brought home a second place finish in the Summer Blizzard Series at Five Flags Speedway in his very first time behind the wheel of the number two Donnie Wilson Racing Super Late Model. Caden won his heat race and set on the pole for the 75 lap A main. Caden led the first 61 laps before getting stuck behind some lap cars and got passed by race winner Bubba Pollard. I think there may be some additional racing coming up with Donnie Wilson Racing. Caden made a flying trip back to Texas to run his dirt modified. Let's hear from the driver for a race recap. Guys, you all have no idea how thrilled I am, man. What a weekend. Just uh, We just got home from Pensacola and just raced the Sportmon here, uh, here at Big O Speedway in Ennis. Ran very well this weekend. Friday, we led practice, won our heat race, and led 62 laps and got involved with the lapper. And, and uh, ended up finishing second to Bubba Pollard. Nothing to complain about. I cannot thank everybody for the opportunity on that. Just such a great deal. Uh, Give me a ton of confidence going to the next asphalt race. And then we came, raced uh, Big O Speedway in the limited month, finished second in our heat, and finished third in the feature, and uh, got some uh, got some right right side damage from the cushion. So uh, we just had a very good time, and uh, we'll see y'all next weekend. I know that young man was not only tired, but still excited after Friday night's race. This young man is a wheel man. Up next for Caden, Monarch Speedway on August 14th and is dirt modified. He's actually taking this weekend off. Connor Mozak drove to a solid seventh place finish in Saturday night's Cars Tour Late Model Series event at Hickory Motor Speedway. Connor carried the number 88 this weekend for Junior Motorsports on his Nick Taylor Interstate Foam and Supply Chevrolet. Connor was fast right out of the trailer, posting the second fastest time in practice, then backed that up with a sixth place in qualifying. Connor ran in the top seven most of the night, then started to make his move to the front after the competition caution on lap 75. On the restart, he was able to move into fourth and several laps later was battling for second. After the car got loose, he had to settle for a seventh place finish. Grant Thompson was at Montgomery Motor Speedway for the Show Me the Money series in his number 112 Pro Late model driving for Augie Grill. Grant qualified seventh in the 22 car field where the top eight were separated by 0.135 seconds. Grant ran as high as fourth in the first half of the race and eventually brought home a top 10 finish in 10th. Up next for Grant, Pro Trucks at Five Flags Speedway. Cassidy Hines pulled double duty over the weekend at Colorado National Speedway, competing in both the Legend car and her Pro Truck. Let's start with the Legend car where she qualified 18th spun out during the heat race with two laps to go, passing for the lead, but scored a DNF. That's bad news for the competitors heading into the A main. She had to start 14th, but quickly raced her way into the lead, capturing her very first legend car victory. In the pro truck, she qualified sixth, won her heat race. In the A main, she started sixth and finished seventh. Up next for Cassidy, Junior Late Models at Madera Speedway on August 8th. Bryce Bizanson was at South Sound Speedway competing in the Super Late Model Series in his number seven, Friends of Jacqueline, Racecraft One, Jefferson Racing Entry. Bryce qualified third, then backed that up with a third place finish in the feature race. 
This race was really just a tune-up for the Northwest Super Late Model season opener at South Sound Speedway on August 15th. Gavin Graham was competing in both his legend car and pro truck at Auburndale Speedway on Saturday. In the pro truck, Gavin started third due to the invert, but raced his way to the lead, then held off several late race restarts to park his truck in victory lane. In the legend car, Gavin finished third in his heat, had to start at the rear of the field for the A-Main, but raced his way to third by lap three. He was passing for the lead with four to go, but his brakes went out, ending his night. Up next for Gavin, Pro Trucks, this weekend at 417 Southern Speedway in Ponta Gorda, Florida. Raceface would like to welcome our newest driver, Sam Butler, from Delphi, Indiana. Sam is a 16-year-old and competed over the weekend in the Cars Tour Late Model Stock Series at Hickory Motor Speedway, where he qualified 15th. Sam ran in the 16th to 18th position for the first 45 laps, then started his move towards the front, moving into the top 10 on lap 110. Sam continued to move forward, eventually bringing home a sixth place finish. Up next for Sam, twin 40s at Hickory Motor Speedway on August 8th. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. This week featuring Haley Constance. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.